there's, oh dude. That's beautiful. Wow, look at them. James! Oh my God. It's so tiny. Oh dude, they're everywhere. Did you catch him? I got one. Let me see, let me see. I couldn't get him, they're too fast. I don't want to hurt him. Oh, there's another one right there. There's another one right there. Are these uh, little tree frog babies, I think? Yeah, these are like uh, Pacific Chorus frogs. They're like all different colors and shit. Yeah, that's what my favorite thing about them. This one's red, bro. Red! That one's tight. It's got like fucking dots all yeah. over it. Yeah, I think that's like... There's a green one over here. What they're supposed to look like. But he, he does look kind of like... Underneath this rock. Right there. Where else? Oh shit, dude. I wonder if those are two different queens. They're fighting. I just saw a third one that was almost that big. Yeah, I see it. I see one. There's a couple of dead ones over here, dude. And these ants, just the ants in general, are huge. Oh, look at those. Right yeah. There. It's crazy. What is going on, you guys? It's James from James and Jeff Tiles. Back again with another video. I know I am also a day late. I always am. Um, we're locked today. Uh, it's not a live animal this time, but we're gonna unbox it. I'm gonna talk about it and then uh, we might try it out. So let's hop right into it, shall we? All right, so this box was from iSpot Source, who I bought the white duckies and my original dwarf white colony from. Um, I, 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 I've been feeding uh, bug bites, I've been feeding the vivariums, the mist, the, the peas, the freeze dried peas. Along with some other fish food, um, I throw old uh, gecko eggs in there. They're full of protein and the eggshell's extra calcium. Um, of course, there's leaves. There's all sorts of other stuff in there for them to eat. Uh, but this is actual, a lot more actual uh, ice pod food. So let me just open it up and show you exactly what I got. It kind of worked out perfectly. Um, I wasn't sure exactly, I know they had a whole line, but I wasn't sure exactly what I wanted. Um, but then I went on the website, and they sell it as a whole line, so I bought the whole line. Um, if you buy the whole line pack, which is one of each kind, uh, then you save a couple bucks, so. Let me just, just like that. Um, so, let's start. Freeze dried piece, I already have, I think this might be a bigger, how many ounces, 1.4 ounces, I don't know if that's more. Uh, but we have that, that we, just like that. Then we have mealworms, awesome. This big black one, spring cuisine, premium springtail food. I have tons of springtails in my uh, ice pods, which is awesome because I always overfeed. Uh, the, sh the shrimp, is that what this is? Yep, shrimp, awesome. Uh, powdered mushrooms. This one, a lot of people say ice pods go crazy for. Um, shiitake mushrooms, oyster mushrooms, white button mushrooms. Yeah, that's gonna be a fun one to definitely test out. And then, what are these? Dried minnows, uh, which is actually funny because I often feed uh, guppies. You know, I produce my own guppies uh, in my fish tank, and sometimes I, I take some and I feed them to the ice pods. And then lastly, we have, oh, crab eyeballs, dehydrated, de dehydrated crab eyeballs. I didn't even know it was an option, but um, yeah, let's feed some of my ice pods and just kind of see how they like it. This is no scientific study. I'm not going to test any of them, maybe in a different video, but I'm going to pick a couple of these, open them up, and feed them to some of my ice pods. So let's hop right into that. All right, so here's my ice pod rack. Uh, of course, only these bottom seven are filled. There's a millipede in a, in a cup in that one. And I was just keeping the food in the drawer. Uh, you can see I got my bug bites, I got my uh, peas, and I got a little bit of extra food. Um, I also was feeding, this is a mix of a bunch of, a bunch of different turtle foods. Uh, I don't know, if you, if you pay attention to my videos, oh here, uh, you want some Inception? That's you right now. That's crazy. Um, if you watch my videos, you'll know I, when I go to the hurt meetings, they always have uh, expired turtle food or a turtle food that's about to expire or something like that. Uh, and tickets are only a dollar, and it's the last thing no one ever wants. So I always buy it 
and I used it for feeders, I used it for all sorts of stuff in the ice pods. I put some in the other day. Let's see. It looks like they ate it. That looks like a little bit of remnants right there, maybe? Or there's one right on there. But I didn't even think about checking. It seems like they eat, ate it. You see a bunch of dwarf whites and a bunch of, uh, well, you can't because the camera shadow's in the way. Um, and a bunch of uh, springtails on that piece right there. Yeah. Oh, powder blues, I guess they didn't seem to like it that much. Um, <laughs> I'm not really big on taking food out just because all the springtails that are in there. It's probably a great idea to take food out that's not eaten, but I'm lazy and I'm going to say it right now, I'm a very lazy keeper. Uh, you can see a little bit of mold growing right there. These guys are kick butt if I can find them, but they're all over here. Yep, those guys are kick butt. Lots of mold growing in here. Uh, definitely need to get some springtails in this enclosure, but like I'm still learning ice pods, obviously. I am by no means an expert. I've only had ice pods for a little bit now, and you can see I labeled them. I just put the date that I labeled them, just so I, at least I knew when I changed the substrate, um, I can label them again and see which ones need it the most or how long it's been. So, But like I was saying, I'm definitely by no means an expert. Uh, there's a lot of stuff I don't know, and I'm definitely by all means a lazy keeper. And I think a lot of people are, but at the end of the day, it's, it is what it is. And if I can keep things successfully and be lazy, I want to try out new lazy ways. So let's hop right into it and let's start with, well, I've done the peas. I want to do the crab eyes for sure. We'll try the mushrooms and we'll try the shrimp. How about that? We'll try these three right now. So these are shrimps. I. Are these whole shrimps or pieces of shrimps? I'm not really sure. That didn't really rip very well either. I think they're whole shrimps, but I think they're tiny. I've actually... Oh, they are very tiny. Look at those. I don't know if you can see that too well. But, uh... Let's see. I think the white duckies, because it's protein, will definitely love these. Uh, and like I said, I'm getting a bunch of babies, so... I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit in there and... Of course, we'll come back to all these. And then I'll put some in the wild type and we'll see what's up. There's a lot in the wild type. So let me just, just like that. And let's open another one. So these are the crab eyes. And I'm gonna tell you right now, they smell absolutely horrible, uh, but they're really big. So I'm gonna put them in the two that have the most, which would be the powder blues Ugh, look at that, that's disgusting. Ooh, it's sticky. And then my original dwarf white colony. Ugh. This is gross. Ew, look at that. Yuck. Alright, let's do the mushroom. Alright, and the mushroom is just a, a powder mix of all different kinds of mushrooms. So this will go in anything I haven't fed. This will go in. All right, so let's try to do this one hand. I don't want to overdo it. There's not too many clowns, but there are babies. Ooh, that's, I don't know if that's a lot or not. I can't tell. Uh, these other dwarf whites, I labeled them giant. Um, I just figured they produce so fast. I might as well try to play with them a little bit. So I'm going to make this colony big boys. If I can. Oh shoot, that was a lot. Well, good thing there's springtails. And then the Priscillios. Um I'm going to sprinkle them kind of the side. There we go. Just because they don't really like the humidity. Okay, that's enough. And, uh, yeah, so we'll come back in maybe an hour, 45 minutes, and see if they're eating. All right, so here we are. It's been about, I'd say, 20, 25 minutes. Uh, we're just going to go down. I forget what I fed what, but we'll find out. So here we have the wild type ice pods, and that's right, they had shrimp, and none of them are eating the shrimp. Uh, there are tons of baby ice pods underneath, so I suppose they might be, but it just kind of looks like none of them are eating the shrimp. Uh, I did see a video, and someone put out like a little pile of each, and they put it in with their ice pods, and, and again, you do have to remember, my ice pod colonies are really small. Uh, granted, they all just started, and they're also small tubs, 
but uh, yeah. Crab eye. Fucking disgusting. Nothing's eating it. <laughs> oh god, it's gonna be a bad video. But good with that bad, I mean, there's your mushroom stuff. I kind of looks like the uh, springtails are nibbling it a little bit. Uh, there's no, there's not very many clown eyes fuzz in there, so this is not going well at all. Um, these with the white duckies. Well, there's a ducky out and about. That's a that's a white ducky if you've never seen one. They're tight. They're like the rubber duckies, but they're white, um, and they're a lot more expensive. That one's about to molt. And then I have a bunch of babies somewhere. Who knows where though, honestly. Can't wait to have enough babies to sell. This one. Yeah, nothing. Um, I don't know what's going on. My eyes possibly should be really full. I do feed them a lot because it's fun to feed them. Um, and yeah, nothing. Uh, so that's awesome. And... Yeah, nothing. So... So, at this point in time, um, the video is already like 10 minutes long. Um, none of the egg spots have eaten anything, so I'm... If I remember in the morning, I'm gonna take the camera out and record, but I probably won't remember, but this video has to go up tomorrow morning also, so I have to record some, edit, do a bunch of stuff, make sure it gets up before I go to work. That's probably not gonna happen because I also have to shave in the morning and there's just not enough time. So this video is what it is. It's probably even later than I thought it was gonna be and I just hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, like I said, I might put some more clips of the ice pods eating in there. Uh, it's gonna be exciting to try all those other foods. I can't wait for all these colonies to just get really big and produce a lot. Um, I want them all to kind of just be big healthy colonies. I'd love to see tons of white duckies, I'd love to see tons of clowns, I'd love to see tons of the wild type, I'd love to see tons of the Priscilla Hossiae, so um, it's definitely, ice pods are definitely something I'm getting into, everyone's kind of getting into them right now, and you know, with all the geckos I'm, I'm selling, you know, I have a little bit of, uh, I call it gecko money, because the business is its own entity, whatever money it makes, I spend it on itself, so if I can invest it in ice pods and make even more money off those in the future, I do that, you know, I make smart decisions, I make what I think are smart decisions, and they seem to be doing all right so far. So, nevertheless, I'm Jason Jim 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 Tiles. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that definitely helps out the channel. Uh, make sure to hit me up on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, jamesjimtiles at gmail.com, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.